Hi, Eaglet. It's Friday. All right. So, for our special Friday math lesson, we are going to just do a quick wrap-up, a quick review, and you will be done for this week. All right. You have done such a fabulous job counting by ones to 150 this week that we're going to go back and we're going to count by tens now okay scholars you can do this we're going to count by tens and we're going to count by tens to 150 and don't worry we'll practice again next week but let's do it guys and let's clap and snap 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Great job counting by tens. Now, I am going to give you a challenging question. If you look at these coins, which one of these coins would require us, if we were using just that coin, to count by tens? That is right, Eaglet's the dime, because the dime is worth 10 cents. So if we were going to try to pay for something using just dimes, we would count by tens. Oh, y'all are so good. You're going to be ready for next week when we start counting money and looking at how much to spend on certain things. Okay, so let's review. First, we have our penny. Our penny is worth one cent. Then we have our nickel. The nickel is worth five cents. The dime is the small one, remember, and it's worth 10 cents. And the quarter, and the quarter is worth 25 cents. Now for next week, Mrs. Edgerton's gonna have some real coins. We're gonna do our mock circle time and we're gonna count out some coins and we're gonna buy some cool stuff together and see how that works. And I'm going to also send you guys some pages of coins that you can cut out. And then if your parents want to say, all right, this costs this much money, then you'll be able to buy it with those paper coins. Or even if they want to say, hey, if you go and clean the bathroom, I will give you such and such coins. And then you can use that maybe to buy a special snack at home. So, a few different ways you're going to be able to use those. All right, for tonight, guys, a quick review. You're going to match the front and the back of these coins and how much it's worth. Use your books if you need to. Go back and use those coin books that you've made and done such a great job with this week. And then we have one more review sheet for this week. We're going to review adding three add-ins together. So, if we look, remember, we're reviewing all those strategies. Miss mm, Edgerton forgot her marker. All right, we're reviewing all of those strategies that we've used this year for addition and subtraction. So, for three add-ins, this first one, three plus four plus seven, this one, to me, looks really simple, like we can make a 10. So I'm going to take this 3 and the 7 together makes a 10 plus 4. Now I know 10 plus 4 is 14. So I can get my answer that way. Now for this one, guys, hmm, 5 plus 5 plus 5. I can count by 5s. I've learned that skill, remember, when we were counting by 5s last week to learn our time on the clock. All right. So I'm going to count by 5s. I'm going to 5, 10, 15, and I know five fives is 15. And then the last one, six plus one plus one, I decided on that one that I thought maybe we should just draw because I didn't see a 10. So we're gonna draw on this one. And so I drew one, two, three, four, five, six red hearts because I love you guys so much. And then I drew a purple heart and a pink heart and then I just add them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's my answer, guys. Six plus one plus one is equal to eight. All right, thanks for practicing with me this week. I miss being in the classroom with you, 
but it puts a smile on my face every time you tell me that you're watching these videos and you're doing your work at home so you can continue to learn and grow. We've got a few more weeks, guys, of review. We're going to go back. We're going to learn a little bit more about money next week, but mostly we're going to review those skills that we've been learning all along the way. You guys are phenomenal. I miss you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.